Hey folks, Justin with Effective Remote Work here. Last week, we talked about how I take a blog post or article that I have consumed and convert that into a sort of literature note that lives inside of Obsidian. Well, today I wanted to talk about the next phase of that, which is how do you take a literature note or ideas from a literature note and convert that into a permanent note in your system that lives there and can interact with other permanent notes. Before we dive into that specific process, let's talk a little bit about what a permanent note is. A permanent note is a distillation of thoughts, in particular, one atomic thought. It generally has three to four paragraphs, at least the way that I do them. And one of the main features of a permanent note is that it's a distillation of your thoughts. So while a literature note might be a conglomeration of ideas and thoughts that you have while consuming some kind of content, a permanent note is your synthesis of those ideas, or at least one of those ideas, into something more concrete in your system. The idea is to make it less ambiguous, more concrete, and to give it a place and a role and a function inside the note-taking system that you have. There are lots of different ways to organize these. I'll show you one quick way that I'm doing these today. It's not going to be very elaborate, but to be honest with you, the more elaborate that you get, the more work that you have to do to keep up with it, the more friction you have, the less likelihood that you're going to keep up using that system in the long term. So let's get into the process. I'm going to speed this section of the video up because I'm just going to run through writing and creating a permanent note. Then when I'm done, I will interject and explain what I've done so that you can see it. Okay, we're back. As you can see, I have a number of paragraphs here on the left-hand side of the screen. Basically what I decided to do in the literature note over here over on the right-hand side is there is this uh, phrase that I wrote here. Working from home means you have to fight the tyranny of the urgent that just kind of struck a chord in me. It's something that I have thought through previously and had ideas about. And it was an idea that I wanted to develop further. I feel like this idea too is atomic in nature because we're talking about working from home and that you have to fight the tyranny of the urgent. Now, later on down the road, I might see, okay, maybe this idea wasn't as atomic as I thought it was. What I can do is I can come back and I can refactor to use a programming term this node into something that's a little bit more atomic. So say if I'm finding that talking about the corporate world up here in the first paragraph needs a different note and kind of explaining what that concept is and going into it a little bit deeper than I do in this first paragraph, what I can do is kind of clip this text and then, you know, link to it simply, similarly to how I did over here in the literature note. I think that's a key thing to remember when you're trying to craft permanent notes is that you don't have to get it all perfect out of the gate. This is your system, first and foremost. And it's important for you to remember that if it's working and useful for you, great. If it's not as atomic as someone else's notes, don't worry about it. If you're finding that there's friction involved, don't be afraid to spend some time thinking through and quote unquote refactoring how you're writing your notes or even the notes themselves to be more useful. The whole point of having a permanent note in your system is so that you can go back to it and see those ideas and connect those ideas together at a later point in time so that eventually you can have this web of thoughts, this web of ideas, this web 
of concrete writing that you've already made into permanent notes that you can then use to make blog posts, to create things out of it, to see patterns, whatever it is. It's synthesizing knowledge into something a little bit more useful than it is in its raw form. So basically writing this permanent note, all I've done here is I've created a link. I've you know con command clicked the link to create the note, which automatically puts the title up here. I have added a heading up top with the same title. It's just easier for me to see it there, especially if it gets a little bit longer of a name. And then I just started writing the thoughts that I have about this specific topic, about why you need to fight the tyranny of urgent, the urgent at home when you're working from home. Basically because not only do you have all the quote unquote urgent things of work life, you also have all the quote unquote urgent things of home life too. So you have to be all the more intentional to set importance on the throne, the things that are truly important over the things that often present themselves as urgent. So I've written these thoughts out here. And at the bottom, I've simply just put a backlink to um, the Stay Focused Working From Home article uh, literature note that I have on the right. And then I just tagged it permanent. Again, what this does is it just gives me the ability to easily find all these permanent notes in a list and also keep these thoughts and ideas in context of one another. Okay, we talked a little bit about organization earlier. I wanna show you how I organized this note. So let me open up my index. Okay, so you can see the index that I have here. I talked about how I'm using this a little bit in my uh, workflow video that I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. But what I've done is this is kind of a productivity topic for me because I lump remote work under productivity uh, for my personal life because it's dealing with my business that I have here as well as just kind of the way I think about it. I, I think about remote work in terms of productivity. So I'll open up productivity. You can see that I have a few different links here. Now, what I did here is I didn't have a map of content for remote work. And so these maps of content are places that I am basically just putting these permanent notes so that I can have an anchor point for them. So where on the literature notes, these topic uh, references become the anchor point for those, permanent notes are anchored to some kind of map of content so that I have a place to get into it. Now, long-term, I hope to have these permanent notes, because uh, I don't have a ton of them in my system, just, just basically because my life has been super busy lately and I haven't had a lot of time to dig into translating some of this content into more permanent fashion. However, my long-term goal with permanent notes is to have them not only linked to maps of content, but also linked to each other uh, fairly well as well. Because that's the point, to be able to move between ideas and move between different notes so you can see how they're connected and make new connections as time goes on. This is a system that evolves over time. It doesn't stay static. So don't be afraid to change it if you dive in here and you see something that needs to be changed. Anyway, back to the map of content. I basically just created a new page inside of Obsidian called the Remote Work uh, Map of Content. I'll click into that. And then I created just simple links at the top here back to the previous index, go back. And then all I did was I linked it here. Long-term, this page will be a lot more fleshed out and have a lot more things in it as I write more remote work permanent notes. But for now, since I only have a few things or just this one thing in this map of content, this is all that it needs to be. If I get 10 or 15, permanent notes in here and I don't have any other organization, great. But I'm sure at that point, I'm going to start seeing patterns to where those notes can be organized into different sections or different groupings or even have other maps of content or notes that group those notes together too. It's just a matter of refactoring and rethinking how things are organized over time so that they make sense to you. That's honestly really it for making a permanent note in my mind. There is a process of revising and drafting if you wanna get into that. 
I am so much more informal about this type of stuff though. I really don't have this pressure on myself to make perfect notes right out the get-go. I really don't want to either because the more pressure that I put on myself to make perfect things like that, the less that I want to do them. So if I get some imperfect thoughts out or incomplete thoughts out in a context like this, I can always work on them later. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in keeping up more with what we're doing at Effective Remote Work, we do have a newsletter that you can get to at EffectiveRemoteWork.com slash newsletter. There'll be a link below in the description. Additionally, if there's anything you're struggling with in regards to permanent notes, note-taking, writing in Obsidian, or productivity in general, please be sure to note it down in the comments. We're keeping a list of videos to make, and I would love to hear from you about that. Again, this is Justin with Effective Remote Work, and we'll catch you in the next video.